This video is going to cover the T lymphocytes part of the specific defences part of immunology, which is half of the unit three of higher human biology. So I've broken down a lot of these videos because this topic is quite bitty um, and people tend to get really confused between the different types of lymphocytes. So before you watch this video, please make sure that you've watched the previous video about generally how to respond to antigens because what I've covered in the previous video will feed into this. Okay. So lymphocytes are white blood cells, okay, that we talked about in the previous video, and they will defend against infection, right? So lymphocytes have specific receptor proteins on their outside, on their surface, that will detect foreign antigens, right? So that's a kind of quick view cap. So when it comes to T lymphocytes, which is one type of lymphocyte, T lymphocytes are involved in determining whether something is foreign or not foreign, okay, so self or non-self. So if your body cells are infected by a foreign pathogen, which will have antigens on its surface, the body cell that's been infected will display those antigens, okay? So they'll display the foreign antigens on their surface, right? So the purpose of that is basically to tell your body and your immune system that that cell is infected so that it can bring about a specific immune response, right? So what I've got here is a quick diagram. I've got quite a few of them here. So this... Is a pathogen. And that could be a bacteria or a virus or whatever else, okay? And like we talked about in the previous video, this is an antigen on its surface. So remember, antigens are made of protein and they will determine, or your body will determine whether that is self antigens, which is not on this, or it's non self, okay? This is a non self antigen, it's not belonging to your body because it's part of a pathogen. Now, this is a body cell. Okay, and these are its own antigens. So these are self antigens. Now when a body cell gets infected, okay, so this is what this process has shown. This is infection. So when that body cell is infected, it will have its own surface antigens, the purple ones. Okay, but it'll also display the non-self antigens. It will display the ones from that pathogen. Okay, and so these are self antigens, the purple ones, and these green ones are non-self antigens. Now, the purpose of this then is that your body cell is determined uh, determined that it's been infected. Okay, and it's signaling to your specific immune response that it has been infected and it's looking for some help. Okay, so this is where T lymphocytes get involved. So this here is a T lymphocyte. Now, again, like we talked about in the previous video, they have receptor proteins on their surface. And those receptor proteins are specific to an antigen on a foreign pathogen, okay? So it's specific to that antigen on this particular pathogen. So notice how the shape matches those green ones, okay, because it's kind of squared off. So what will happen is that T lymphocyte will then use its specific receptors to bind to that infected body cell. Okay, so just as a clarification, this is the infected body cell. So that T lymphocyte then has bound to that infected body cell. Now, like with any lymphocyte, no matter what type it is, when it binds to an infected body cell or when it binds to any foreign pathogen, what it'll do is it'll produce clones. Okay, so it'll divide and it'll make clones of itself. Now, the purpose of that is so that if there's any more of this infection, then we have more clones of these um, specific T lymphocytes to then defend against that pathogen, right? So we've made clones. Now then what happens is your T lymphocyte will then release proteins. Okay, so once it's attached to that infected body cell, it will release proteins into the cell. Now what those proteins then do is they diffuse into the, the infected body cell 
and they cause the release of self-destructive enzymes, okay? So self-destructive enzymes are then released. Now think about it, self-destructive enzymes are enzymes within a cell, so these would be lysosomes, okay, with enzymes in them. Now what that then does is it tells those lysosomes to release the self-destructive enzymes. And bear in mind it's saying self-destructive, so therefore it will destroy the cell itself. Okay, so that is then telling the cell to destroy itself. Okay, so this is what's known as apoptosis, which is a brilliant term in higher human biology. So apoptosis, so I basically think of it as making the cell pop. Okay, it makes the cell burst and it leaves just little fragments of the cell and some of the antigens on its surface that were there. Okay, both the self ones and the non-self. Now this is a specific response because these receptors are specific to that particular pathogen and that particular antigen on that pathogen. So once it has destroyed the cell, okay, and then caused that cell to destroy itself, sorry, by apoptosis, these fragments are then cleaned up. Right, so if you think back to the non-specific defense, those fragments are cleaned up by phagocytes, right? Phagocytes are the cleanup crew, and that's what happens here. So this is a phagocyte. And what it'll do is it'll then clean up those fragments and the remains of that cell by phagocytosis. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you would need to label on these kind of things. Okay, they'll ask you for um, labeling this on a pathogen, so for example, that'd be an antigen. Okay, or the asking for what these receptors are made of. All right, or asking for the name of this process that's causing the cell to kill itself, essentially the programmed cell death. So what I've got here is a kind of step-by-step -step description of what's happened here, okay? So your T lymphocytes will determine between self and non-self antigens. Okay, it's able to determine whether the antigens that are there are belonging to our body or not, okay? And therefore they recognize infected body cells, those ones that will determine, uh, display the, the foreign antigens on their surface, okay? So T, T lymphocytes destroy infected cells by apoptosis. So T lymphocytes are apoptosis. And that's just a fancy term for programmed cell death. Now your cells do that all the time in, or are instructed to do that all the time anyway, if they get old. But with this, if it's infected, it'll be told to then destroy itself. Okay, so that process of apoptosis and that process of the T lymphocytes doing that is shown here. So T lymphocytes attach the infected body cells, bear in mind it's the receptors that do that. Okay, they then release proteins that diffuse into the infected body cell. And those proteins cause the release of those enzymes. Now those self-destructive enzymes that are kept in lysosomes then cause the cell to conduct apoptosis and cause the cell to carry out programmed cell death. Right, and the remains of the cell are then removed by phagocytes through phagocytosis. So all this is doing is just describing what I showed you in that diagram before. Now again, as another reminder from beforehand as well, T lymphocytes, they have a large number of ribosomes because they produce receptor proteins. And they also produce the proteins, these ones here, that diffuse into the infected cell that lead to apoptosis. Okay, so T lymphocytes carry out apoptosis and you'd be, you need to be able to um, describe what occurs with that. Right? So... This diagram and these descriptions, they link together. They're basically just a description of that previous diagram. Now, the next and the last part of the T lymphocytes is about them basically going wrong. Okay, so your body and your immune system is not perfect. And when that doesn't work correctly, right, and the, the T lymphocytes don't work correctly, that immune system fails to an extent. Right? Now bear in mind that the purpose of those lymphocytes is to determine between self and non-self antigens. Okay? Antigens that belong to you and antigens that don't belong to you. So if it gets that mixed up, then essentially it starts to try and attack your body's own cells. So if the T lymphocytes fail, they respond to your body's own cells. And they basically start to attack and destroy your own cells because it recognises your antigens as thinking there's something foreign. So your T lymphocytes will then end up attacking and destroying self antigens. And so it'll kill the body's own cells. 
Now you may have heard of this before, it's quite a common term or quite a frequently heard term. This is known as autoimmune disease. Now, if you think about autobiographies, autobiographies are written by a person about themselves. Autoimmune is to do with yourself. So it's the immune attacking itself, right? That's the disease. Now, you'll probably know some examples of this. Um, the main examples and the one that's really commonly known is actually type 1 diabetes. Okay, so people with type 1 diabetes, their immune system and their T lymphocytes will attack and destroy cells within their own pancreas. Now also, you can get rheumatoid arthritis, which is also an autoimmune disease. Now there's plenty of them as well. Crohn's disease is one. There's lots and lots of them. Okay, but that is your own T lymphocytes attacking your body's own cells, right? So recognizing your self antigens as non-self and therefore attacking and destroying your own antigens and you're causing your own body cells to carry out apoptosis. Right, so that's the summary of the T lymphocytes. I'm going to move on and do B lymphocytes in the next video.